Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest where we are here with Maple Oh good, 3M is getting carried back. He was kind of wandering away over to his dad. And is everybody well fed? 3M is not. Is Branch going to take care of that? He is. That's very, very good. Because we're going to have our work cut out for us with these guys. Now this first day will probably be a fairly chill one. We're just going to have to buff up some territory, I imagine. Uh, our affinity is pretty full. Everything's pretty okay because we just started out. We do have one territory hex to reclaim here. Oh, we should look as well. Uh, I just remembered we should see if we have a runt. And I don't know that we do, actually. Uh, Mabel herself was a runt, of course. Uh, and that's why her stats are so very, very low. But uh, 2F is the closest thing we have. And considering that 3F is still 4.8 versus 4.6, I'm kind of inclined to say not a runt. So we may not actually have a runt in this litter, which is, uh, that's good. That'll, that'll mean we get through it a little bit faster and hopefully the pups will stay a little bit healthier. Oh my goodness, the puppies are going to walk into the lake though. That's one thing I don't like about this den. I know the puppies can swim now, but goodness, it still terrifies me. What if you get stuck down there and there's a predator coming? That's not, that's not ideal. Uh, but now that these guys are fed, let's go ahead and make sure we woof them back in the den. We will attend to the brief amount of territory marking. Hopefully the predators haven't found this place yet. And these guys will uh, be able to, to just chill for a little bit and slowly ease into the chaos that I foresee coming. Yeah. All right. This one I don't think has a scent post anymore, so I'm guessing it just got washed away by the uh, the floodwaters from the melting snow, which the snow is still falling. Yeah, we can't create a scent post here until we get it up here, and I think it's at 75, so let's do a little bit of howling. We'll also just buff up some of the area around here. Most of it doesn't really need buffing up, but the reason that I still want to do that before it gets more... Um, well, before it drops even further is that if we have at least one area that's up to like 100, if we look on our map, we can see most of this. Now it's 95. Most of it's in the 70s or the 80s. So if we can get like at least a quad here that's very, very, very well marked, then it'll hopefully take a slower time to decay completely. And we're less likely to get into a loop of chaos where things just go catastrophically wrong and it gets bad and yeah we're, we're less likely to see that happening it might be worth doing a hunt too actually oop and there's bison over there yeah it might be worth hunting if we can although let's let's focus on that afterwards because we're not super hungry yet we did feed the puppies so they'll be fine for a little bit and i think we'll make sure then that that Hopefully, if we can hunt, we can do it together, and that way we don't have to call Branch away just yet. Oh, there's a fox. There are some elk over here, too, but I think I'm still going to leave Branch at the den. I've had Maple here actually go ahead and start um, start yoinking up some of, the, uh, <laughs> some of the hairs that she's running across and uh, boosting her food a little bit with that way, and I'm hopeful that maybe we can get through the first day like that, because if we can avoid hunting, you know, anything we gonna, anything we do is gonna be a big risk, so we have to play this very cautiously. And so if we can avoid hunting, if we can avoid fighting stranger wolves by staying on top of everything else, we're gonna stand the best chance of survival and hopefully last the longest possible time here. Oh, there's the scent post up there. I'm also just adjusting the position of all of these scent posts to make them a little bit more convenient uh, when we go to mark them so that hopefully it doesn't take us ages to get anywhere. I keep running out of stamina just trying to get from point A to point B though. This is definitely gonna be quite the challenge. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes when we actually need our stamina. Okay, whatever that music was, I think it's gone now. It looks like as we're approaching the den here, that Branch is actually out with some of the puppies. He did stay home. He didn't come with us, which is why I didn't want to bother calling him. But it looks like some of the puppies, some of them are kind of shy. I wonder, I wonder if that has to do with caution at all, because... This is one of our only times playing with a more cautious wolf, so I wonder if that has something to do with uh, whether or not the puppies stay out of the den with the mate or not. Because I did notice earlier on they were staying inside quite a bit. Now, is this just now? There it is. Let's go ahead. We will um, grab this hair. Whoop! where did it go? It juked us. It's right down here. All right, I just want to bring that to a Branch. And then we'll actually head out again and uh, go hunting some more. We just want to kind of keep his strength up, hopefully. And um, what's he doing? Is he headed off somewhere? 
He better not be. He's watching the babies. <laughs> no, he's hanging out over here. There's the pups. Let's just uh, let's just spend a little time with them. Hopefully, Branch will eat that. And he usually is hungry enough to uh, to want to, and the puppies can't yet. So hopefully, he'll catch on and realize he can go. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Um, let's play with them a little bit, and then we can uh, head elsewhere. I think. Honestly, I think Maple trusts Branch with the pups more than she does herself, just because she doesn't... If there's a predator that shows up, she's going to be the one who has a really hard time dealing with it. So let's not uh, worry too much about these guys. Branch, are you going to eat your food? I hope he eats his darn food. Uh, we're going to we're gonna go keep hunting. We'll try it. Oh, there's another hare. I'm going to stockpile a few of these by the den for him so that hopefully he gets his... Um, his strength up as well. Sir, please eat your hairs. They're right here for you. I hope he hope he figures out he can have those. Yeah, we'll see. I think he's keeping an eye on him. I just am noticing he's up like, oh, he's he's eaten already. Okay, I guess he's fine. I guess he got food. Maybe that was why they were still at the den. Maybe he went off and grabbed some food somewhere. So we'll eat these then. And I just wanted to mark one more territory hex really briefly because we marked almost all of these. It's just this one that's on the other side of the den that we apparently didn't do. So we'll go mark that and then we'll come back and we'll let these guys get some rest. All right, we're headed back to our den here because we have marked the territory, I think. Yeah, 3M went back in the den, so we're actually going to call him out here. And 4F is kind of far away. Branch, are you are you watching your babies? Okay, yeah, 4F is coming back now. Let's uh, call the puppies out here, and then we actually just rest for a little bit. We'll make sure we sleep with them in the open so the flea load doesn't get insane. And we'll see where things stand come morning. All right. Morning has arrived, and I'm sure the puppies are hungry. Yeah, they're in the 60s, and so is Branch. Uh, how is our territory looking? It's actually not awful, but we do have some stranger wolves likely roaming around it, so we should probably make sure... This is the area we reinforced yesterday. We should probably make sure that we reinforce some of this today. Uh, so I think we'll do that, but we will move the babies back in the den just in case we have a predator attack. We just want to make sure that if anything is wrong we get these guys safely into the den and their affinity is still pretty good so i'm not actually gonna bother playing right now i think they're i think they're doing all right and we'll see if branch wants to stay he seemed pretty keen on doing that earlier yeah i think he'll probably be all right we'll see if he comes with us or not but uh, we can always call him if we need to do an actual hunt oh this might be our lucky day i smell a bison carcass we're going to go ahead and investigate that, and if it seems like one that we can actually take over, then we're going to go ahead and call Branch, I think, and have him come get some food, because any day we don't have to hunt is going to be for the better. Let's just get this den up here, because I do see it on the hill, this dirt den right here, and then we will uh, go ahead and try and track that down if it's still around. Oh, it's right here, actually. Okay. Um, there's coyotes, but that's not going to be an issue for us. We will, uh, we'll call Branch over and we will, um, get a bite to eat here. There's not a whole lot, but it is a bison carcass, so I think that'll actually last most of this. Oh, here's Branch. He's back and he's going to get some food. We'll make sure we let him eat as well. And uh, then we'll finish off our, for ourselves. There's a few coyotes, but I don't think it is a, uh, it is a big concern they should mostly leave us alone. All right, between the two of us, we've pretty much finished this thing off, so that worked out perfectly. We just have to do a little territory marking on the way back. Open. Oh, is he going to finish it completely? He sure did, and that has gotten him up to 112. So, well, he wasn't completely full, but he was pretty good. Uh, so let's just take a look at the map here, because I think I mostly just want to um, mark some of these hexes, and then we will head back. All right, the territory marking is done. We've gotten our food. Time to go back and spend some time with the pups who are definitely losing their affinity quite fast. That's right, this is accurate. It does go very quickly. I've I've forgotten. I've been a little spoiled playing on challenging. I forgot how intense it can actually get with the affinity. Uh, but because Branch stayed here with them for part of the day, it's not too terrible just yet. Uh, we mostly just need to be mindful. Okay, I, I think that was just a log that I saw. Uh, but we'll go ahead, we'll make sure that we feed these guys. Uh, of course, they don't have their names yet, and uh, you guys still will have the chance to name them for a few more episodes. 
Uh, we're not going to be giving them their names just yet. So if you guys have any uh, any name ideas, you can put those in the comments below. Is that an eagle in the distance? I'm not sure if that was. We've got to keep an eye on that. Uh, but you can put those in the comments for the video, and I will take a look at what ones are there. And uh, eventually, we will go ahead and uh, choose our names from that. I will give the uh, post some names that I feel are fitting. And uh, once we've seen their personalities a little bit more, we'll kind of know more of what those will be. But for now, we'll be just leaving them with their designations here. We still have all five for now. Here's hoping at least most of them make it through because I am very, very worried, not gonna lie. It's, uh, it's a little bit daunting, the task that we have ahead of us. I really hope it ends up being doable, but I've been surprised so far. And uh, we actually need to feed them more. They're still hungry. Okay, then. Let's give them a little bit more food. So far, so good. How are we doing? Uh, most of them are still fairly hungry, actually. And they've gained about a pound this time. I hear wolves howling somewhere in the distance, and it's freaking me out just slightly. But yeah, overall, oh my goodness, 2F is just disappearing already. I mean, not completely disappearing, but getting darn close to it. We've really got to be careful here. All right, 2M is over here. Let's go ahead and bring him back as well. I just want to make sure that he's all right. Um, I do see a shadow circling, so I am going to woof these guys back in the den just to be safe. Because I'm not sure what kind of bird that is. I don't know if it's actually circling or if it's... If it was just somebody flying by overhead as kind of a one-time thing, I think it might have been just somebody flying by. But with the new eagle attacks, we really got to stay on top of it. Oh, it's probably that eagle. Now, that is a bald eagle. He is fishing. He is not... Oh, did he catch something? He did. I want it. I want it. Drop your fish. Give me your fish. Dang it. I don't think he dropped his fish. Nope, he still got it. You can still see it had some scent spores coming off of it, I think. Unless, unless he did drop it? No, I don't think he did. Darn it. All right. Well, we don't have to worry about the bald eagles. They're not after our puppies. Only the golden eagles are. So let's call these guys back out. I was hoping we could get a fish off of that. I don't know how. I think it's mostly if you follow them till they land and then you, um, you run at them, then they'll drop it is probably what it is. But I'm not 100% sure. We've run across fish a few times, but it, it just seems to be completely random and not something that uh, we've actually caused. So let's play with these guys a little bit. And then I think we are going to go ahead and wrap the episode because it's getting to be about that time again. Uh, and I think the affinity is not all that bad right now. We just really got to be careful with it. What's the flea load? 10%. We're still doing okay. If it keeps going at this rate, then we will have to move dens by the time these guys are 15 pounds. But moving dens shouldn't be terrible because there's one literally right around the corner there. Uh, but yeah, since the affinity is looking pretty good, we'll go ahead and uh, wrap this up here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.